tracking Hurricane Isaisas. The Category 1 hurricane now has South Florida under a tropical storm warning. Good afternoon, I'm Cordley Barnett. Portions of the Florida coast to our north are under a hurricane watch. Let's go right to CBS 4's Lisette Gonzalez with the latest advisory and forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. Lisette. Hey Carly, yes, as of the latest 11 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center, Hurricane Issa Issa is category one with max sustained winds of 75 miles per hour located 365 miles south, southeast of Great Abaco Island, still moving to the northwest at 16 miles per hour. And yes, we now have a hurricane watch that extends from Deerfield Beach to Brevard Volusia County line and also a tropical storm warning that's in effect. And that's from the Sebastian Inlet all the way down to to Ocean Reef as we are going to see the potential for tropical storm conditions for these areas to the south and then further north. We are going to see the potential for tropical storm to even possibly hurricane conditions. We have to wait and see how this all plays out. Hurricane warnings are in effect for the Bahamas and tropical storm warning continues for portions of the Turks and Caicos. And yes, it is forecast to continue moving northwest across the southeast Bahamas throughout the day today. As you'll see, hurricane conditions are already occurring and indicated by the red and then we'll start to move into the central Bahamas as we head into later this evening. Eventually, as we head into tonight and to tomorrow morning, Isaias' eye is forecast to be just to our east. However, the cone is too close for comfort and actually right on the edge here of the Florida coastline. So something certainly that we can't let our guard down. We have to continue to prepare and watch this closely because we could see any little shift in the track and that would of course determine the impacts in terms of our weather as we head into into the weekend. As of now, tropical storm conditions likely for portions of South Florida, especially Palm Beach County, as the track has shifted a little bit to the west. So that is a change from the 11 a.m. advisory and then likely could be just riding up or just offshore of the eastern coast here of Florida as we head throughout the day into late Saturday and Sunday. Eventually could be just off the southeast coast of the United States, possibly making landfall somewhere along the Carolina coast and then really all the Atlantic seaboard to monitor it because it could continue moving towards the coastal areas of the Northeast.